Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring and diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I have an unboxing of a very exciting kit from Muni Made. This is Beauty and Chaos from Muni Made. Um, it is by the artist Tally Sketch, and I am very excited to unbox this kit because I have been anticipating working on this kit ever since I saw it initially. Um, I just find the artwork to be completely up my alley and I have been debating for a while what piece of artwork I want to hang basically like directly behind my work from home desk so that way it's visible in meetings. I want artwork that like makes sense <laughs> right for like professional setting but also something that I like um, and so this was the kind of clear winner for me. Um, I had a couple other pieces in mind and I actually asked you guys to vote on Instagram um, and Beauty and Chaos did win um, but it was kind of already the winner in my head too. I think I just needed something to solidify it and that was that. Um, but today I will be unboxing this beautiful kit for you guys and I hope you enjoy this video and let's get right on into it. Okay so I decided when I purchased this kit specifically, this is my first Muni Made kit, um, I will leave Muni Made linked down below um, with this kit linked as well. It is in stock right now, I believe. Um, but Muni Made is a small shop. Um, and yeah, when I bought this kit initially, I also purchased this, um, like protective dust jacket thing. Um, I haven't purchased it with any of my other Muni Made kits I bought, but I wanted it for the first kit. Um, it's very nice and it costs extra, but otherwise if you don't, um, purchase the dust cover, basically the kit will just come, <laughs> this thing is like huge, oh my goodness, the kit will just come basically like this, which is not a bad thing either. Um, so I feel like definitely very personal preference as to what you want, but yeah, it's just like a, a bag that has like draw like a drawstring kind of bag um but I'm gonna put this on the floor and I'm gonna go ahead and start with um I decided to in this kit specifically get a free toolkit muni made kits are fun because you can number one choose to get a basic toolkit which is this number two you don't have to get any toolkit or number three you can get a premium toolkit and I believe that comes with um a uh, nice tray um and like other more premium supplies i kind of like what i like when it comes to the supplies i use so i decided against doing or getting the premium toolkit in this case but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and just jump into this free toolkit um and i do like that you have the option to not get the toolkit just because i know that um you know if you have a lot of toolkits a lot of diamond paintings it could be a waste and I know for any future muni made orders I will not be doing a toolkit unless it's premium so first thing that comes in here is just your typical diamond painting pen and I believe this is a three placer on the end here uh, if it'll if it'll focus but yeah it has a three placer I believe and so you have a pen and then you also have a nice little uh, thing of the blue wax. Let's see if there's one or two two plates of blue wax, right? That's more than enough honestly to do the kit um, So that's awesome. I love that and then you also just get a oh you got another you get another multi blazer this one uh, Six. Oh, is there a number? Wait, that's not a number. No, that's not a number uh, <laughs> Six placer question mark probably six or seven if I had to guess yeah, I don't know. Um, and then you just have the basic white tray. So that is everything that comes in the basic toolkit. Um, nothing out of the ordinary for sure, but you can upgrade if you want. And it's definitely still obviously very nice to get it in the toolkit. Um, but anyways, that's a toolkit. <laughs> and now let's go ahead and get right into the um, diamond painting kit. Let me take it out of its packaging okay so right basically the way you can tell which kit is which for muni made i guess is the best way to go about this is um each muni made kit will come with this little little tag oh my god this kit is actually incredibly heavy um but this tag here just has uh the little thumbnail of the picture the size beauty and chaos by tally sketch um i'm probably actually gonna put this in my log book is what I'm thinking this little tag because how cute but anyways let's get right on into the canvas yeah I'm gonna go ahead and keep the little tag and little ribbon 
Maybe I'll like even tape the ribbon onto the lock. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna put it right over here for now. But anyways, let's get right on into the canvas. Let's unroll this. It's actually a canvas that goes this way, except I'm rolling it the wrong way. Oh my god, you guys. Ooh, she's a beauty. Oh my god, I love this canvas so much. But um, what I'm actually gonna do first is move all of the drills out of the way. And what we're gonna do, because this canvas is wanting to roll in on itself because um, it's been rolled up for who knows how long, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip this canvas over. It's been a while since I've worked on a canvas this large. Well, that's not true. I guess I worked on Springtime Splendor, which was larger, but not in like this landscape kind of style. Um, oh my God, okay, okay. <laughs> This is a, this is always hard to do when I'm filming, but basically you can flip the canvas around and roll it backward the other way. Because this is a poured glue canvas and not double-sided adhesive, you can do this. Only issue is I'm struggling to even get this curled to begin with. Wow, there we go. That took a lot more effort than I needed to. So yeah, you could just roll the canvas back this way. I like to give it a little like massage. And then now, Oh my goodness, this thing is huge. Okay, it's laying a lot better now. Okay, so now it's laying a little bit more flat, but what I am gonna do is go ahead and flip it. I know, that seems counterintuitive, but that's what we're doing. Okay, <laughs> let's get into the stuff that comes with the kit. Let's see, so I purchased this back in like April or May of this year, or not this year, last year, oh my god, it's January of last year, um, so I think some things have changed in the more recent releases, but we have, let's see, we have a little sheet of paper, I'm just reading through it, okay, it's just like a little how to diamond paint, um, little, little guide. And then I'm just gonna put this, oh my goodness, I don't know what to do with anything. Put that on the floor. And then we just have the sticker sheet here that comes with the canvas. And basically you have a large sticker um, with the original artwork. You just have the name of the art, you got Muni made, um, the size, square drills, 80, by, 80 centimeters by 60 centimeters. I don't even think I mentioned that. And then you have, um, I believe these are pre-cut stickers. Yeah, these are definitely pre-cut sticker labels that you can use to kit up the kit with. And Muni made is um, interesting and a little different than other companies that I've seen because they have one sticker here that, here I'll, I'll zoom back in, they have one sticker here that's like bigger, has the number, the color code, like the code on the canvas and then the DMC code, but then you also have a sticker on the side with just the code in case that's how you want to kit up. Um, but it looks like this kit has 63 colors and two ABs. So that is awesome. So that is the sticker sheet that I'm also gonna put on the floor. Everything's just kind of like, what's the word? Everything's a little bit like folded, so it's a little, this is a little harder to do. And then we have the drills here. Um, I am pretty sure this number on here corresponds with um, probably the kit number. I would assume there's some correlation where if you stored these separate from your canvas that you'd be able to, um, you'd be able to like know and match them up, but I'm not too certain on that. I think that's how it would work with this one. Um, but what I'm actually gonna do right now is flip this back over and I just quickly wanna give you guys a little pan over of the canvas, which I'm gonna insert a clip of right here. Um, but basically at the top of the canvas, you just have Muni made. Um, you have a schematic on the bottom left of the canvas and the top right of the canvas. Um, and this canvas is so big, but I love it. Um, I have worked on one other kit in a 60 by 80 centimeter and I had a bunch of fun with it. So I'm excited about this one, um, but it is very, very big, but honestly, this kit looks like it has a ton of color blocking in it, um, which is when you have a lot of the same color in one area. So I think this will be really fun and pretty quick to work up. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this back over once more um, because what we're gonna do is take a look at the drills together. So give me one sec and then I will be back. Okay, so here are all of the colors and I think there is one color that might actually have like a bag open because I found a little drill um, and I don't know what bag that is. I'm wondering, 
And honestly, well, no, a lot of these colors are pretty similar, so I don't know. But, um, anyways, I think this came in, like, um, DMC order or whatever, and I just totally messed it up. But, um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to go about this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and read off these color codes to you so you know what colors come in this kit. I'm like totally messing this up, but <laughs> it looks like we have two bags of 3865. We have 3835. This is not focusing. Okay. And then we have, let's see, we have, let me actually zoom in a little bit. We have 3834. 3860 and then actually we have our two ABs so first off we have AB 444 which is this really pretty like goldish yellow color um, I'll show you guys in a minute where these go on the canvas but then we have uh, AB 5200 which is this beautiful white AB so those are the two AB drills in the kit um, AB stands for Aurora Borealis they just have a special coating on them um, that makes them shine so those are that we have 347 921 918 3046 we have 3855, 3857, 3859, 922, 976, 3688, 3687, 732, 733, 7.33, 7.34, 3.53, 7.46, 7.45, 7.39, 8.14, 816, 869, 5.50, 7.30. There are so many colors in this kit. And this is a little more challenging than like when they come in strands, if I'm being honest, to go through. Um, that's okay. 7.62, flip it over this way. 9.77, 7.93, 799 or 779 excuse me 779 let's see we have 351 950 920 i'm wondering if this is oh actually there are two is this another one no okay that's a different one um so we have at least two bags of 920 we might have more than that this is hard because i took this out and now we're, we're messed up uh, 3861 i'll have to organize this at some point when i get up but 898 lots of like brown moody colors um we have 950 918 we have 3865 is that another bag we already we already talked about that one um we have 3022 we are getting there you guys um we have 3328 434 452 433 oh we have um two bags of 3371 uh, we have 3852, 3853, we have a pretty big bag of 3854, we have 407, 3836, 165, 153, so close. <laughs> 3752, 3822, 3821, 3803, 
3826. Uh-oh, one, another one just kind of fell. Might have been out of this bag specifically. I'm gonna leave that over there for two seconds. Um, 3827. We have 3857. And then four more bags, you guys. We have 3858. Uh, we have 3787, 3772, and last but not least, 3829. So that is the color spread on this kit. Um, I'm definitely very excited about it. Um, very brown heavy though, very moody color palette. Um, another thing to note is that I'm pretty sure Muni Made has acrylic drills, which is different than I feel like diamond art club dreamer designs who have resin drills so um i've never well i don't know if my amazon kit was it probably was acrylic drills on that kit but it's been obviously a bit since i worked on that um but i've heard great things about muni maids kits and things like that so yeah okay i'm gonna go put this all on the floor and i will be back to show you guys where the ab's are on the kit Alrighty, so i have like as a lot of the kit on the screen i don't have all of it but i have a lot of it and luckily we are only looking for two special drills so this would not be too bad so the first ab we have was that um yellowish goldish ab which is the symbol letter t Let's see where those T's are. I would have expected it maybe in the plants, but they're not there. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum, the T's, the T's. Huh. Okay, so I see a little bit of the T's over here in this little, what even is this? Like, I'm looking in the, oh, I can't even see the original artwork. Um, over here, basically. <laughs> um, there's some T's. Okay, these are like hanging lights. These are hanging lights. So there are some T's in the hanging lights. I wonder if that's it. Hmm. That doesn't feel right. You guys, this canvas is really, really big. <laughs> so I'm likely missing them. Um, but from what I can tell, um, there's a few. No, these are still hanging lights. Okay, so these are all hanging lights over the window. That is where those yellow ABs are. Yellow slash gold. Okay, makes perfect sense. And then the white AB is like the check mark sign. And there weren't too many of those either. And let's see. I kind of would have expected them to be in the windows, but they're not. Um, okay, we have some white ABs actually over here. So we have some in the headphones of the computer, or like that's on the computer. And then we have some in the clouds as well over here. That is like part of her screensaver on the computer. We have some more check marks there. It kind of look like looks like it's laced all around like the keyboard over here with the computer as well. Um, and then we have some more check marks over here on this picture that's hanging. At least I think that's a picture. <laughs> um, where else? If there is, I don't see any more check marks. But again, I very well could just be missing it. But you guys, I'm so excited to work on this canvas. I think it's a beauty. I'm really excited about it. And um, <laughs> I hope this unboxing video wasn't like too chaotic. Um, I always struggle to film unboxing videos just because the canvases I like to buy are usually huge. Like I said, this is a 60 by 80 centimeter, so actually an 80 by 60 because it's landscape but um anyways yeah that is it for this unboxing video today i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already and i will catch you in my next video bye guys